Okay, this is the Dragonfly home workout. All it requires is an exercise tube like this. Uh, you can order a set of them, light, medium, and strong online. Very portable, makes this workout extremely versatile, great for home workouts. It's a Tabata workout, which means you're gonna go through the exercises one at a time. You're gonna do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, move on to the next one. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You do four minutes per exercise, okay? So it'd be eight little mini sets. It's best to use an app. I like Boxing Timer Pro uh, for this. So we're gonna go through the exercises starting with the patio lantern lunges. Now, for the patio lantern lunges, the main thing that's difficult is just getting the grip right for the tube. So we kind of have the tube handles like this, and then you kind of like, you twist your hands around to kind of tighten it like that maybe one more time or so. You wanna be able to have it about shoulder width apart. And these things are dangling down like little patio lanterns, okay? Um, that's one style just to make it a little bit easier. Also on this exercise, if you just wanted to just grab it because you got a strong tube and not wrap it around, that can work too, okay? So for this exercise, you'd be gently pulling them apart the whole time. So gently pulling them apart the whole time. Then I'm gonna pull them overhead and I'm gonna do alternating reverse lunges like this. So I'm actually really working my posture and really working the upper body right now, okay? Just by keeping it overhead like so. That there is the exercise. Now a progression, if you look on your sheet, you're gonna see the progression listed at the bottom for this. And the progression is to do forward and back step lunges with the same leg. So that would look like this. Okay, I do a forward step lunge, then I do a backward step lunge with the same leg. Forward step lunge, backward step lunge. That is the progression. Just doing one leg at a time, and there you would just be alternating legs each set. So about four sets per leg, okay? The next exercise is the penguin dance. For this one here, you're gonna stand on the exercise tube so it's under the middle of your feet, okay? Arms down by your sides. Now sometimes you can pull the tubes up a little bit to give it some tension. Then you just swing one leg out to the side at a time like this. And this is really gonna work those outer hip muscles. Just make sure you're pointing your feet straight ahead. That way you don't have the tube slip and jump up from behind you or anything. Okay, the next exercise is patio lantern sumo squats. So once again, we're gonna be pulling the tube apart, okay? And I'm gonna have my arms overhead, and I'm gonna take a very, very wide stance. I have the back of my legs against the chair. I sit down and I stand up just like so. I'll just give you a different view. Sitting down and standing up, pulling the tube apart the whole time. Now. A progression would be to do this freestanding, okay? That's your progression when you're ready, all right? Now the next exercise is the crossover elbow out rows. Now, typically I have somebody set up with their butt on a wall to make it easier. You're gonna have your feet on the tube like this. Now you're gonna cross the handles over. That there's the tricky part, okay? So if you got that, we're gonna be pretty good. Now from this position, I do a row and then a row and I'm alternating sides, just like this, okay? Now, for this one, you can add a pump to the top as a progression. It looks like this or like this. Having the butt on the wall just makes it a little bit easier in your posture, but a more advanced progression would be to do that freestyling, okay? where you're off the wall completely. But the posture may tend to get sloppy over time. So unless you're sure, just keep your butt on the wall for that exercise. Now the next one is a single leg forward bend and side raise combo. So now what I do is, you can see I've just kind of like dropped one end of the tube on the ground, okay? And I stand on it with the same side leg. Okay, and I've got a good amount of slack here. Now on one leg, I bend forward, I touch the bench, I stand up, 
and I do a side raise, okay? So it looks like that, and a side raise. I'll just give you what a front view looks like. It would look like this, all right? I would bend forward, I would touch the bench, side raise. Bend forward, touch the bench, side raise, just like that. A progression here would be to not let the standing foot touch at all the whole exercise, okay? Just keeping it elevated off the ground at all times, all right? So, that's that one there. Next one we have is the one arm overhead elbow extensions. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can do this one. Basically, you're gonna be holding one end of the tube down behind your back, and the other end is holding on the handle, and you're gonna be doing a one arm overhead tricep extension like this, okay? So that's gonna work the triceps. Another, um, another technique you can do is rather than holding on the tube, if the tube has enough slack, you just stand on it, you're holding it behind your neck, and you're going all the way up and down, bending and straightening, okay? Now, the final exercise here is going to be the alternating arm curls. Standing on the tube, palms forward, going like this rapidly, all right? So you do that for 20 seconds, 10 seconds off, repeat. This one will really get the arms engorged and make you look and feel great as you finish your workout and go back and join the real world. Everyone's gonna be like, wow, you must've been working out. Look how swollen your arms are, right? So that gives you good arms for the end of the workout. Once again, this here is the dragonfly just requires a tube, so it's extremely versatile. It's great for posture. All of that pulling the tube apart stuff really helps straighten out, straighten out your posture. And it's a great overall fitness and fat burn workout. It's a Tabata workout, so make sure you get the app. That's the Dragonfly.